Now to our Running Dry series, a new study of the Colorado River says that we have less time than we thought to figure out how to reduce how much water we use. The study says even after all the cuts and agreements, the West is using trillions of gallons more water than the river actually has. 12 News journalist William Pitts talked to the experts who are sounding the alarm. How much water is actually in the Colorado River? Not how much is held back, saved, or on paper. How much wet water is there in the whole system? The river that stretches across seven states and the reservoirs. And the study says the results are grim. We continually find out that things are worse off than we thought they were. We're trying to catch up with hydrology and we're not catching up. Eric Kuhn at the University of Colorado Boulder is one of those authors. If next year is a repeat of this year and uses of water remain the same, they wrote, demand on the river will outpace the water supply by 3.6 million acre feet. One acre foot is the amount of water it takes to cover an acre of land one foot deep. It's the amount of water three homes use in a year. So we're 10 million homes overdrawn. If you're spending more money than you're bringing in on a monthly basis, you can pull on your savings, but your savings aren't going to last forever. Former Upper Colorado River Commissioner Ann Castle, who also co-wrote the study, says the reservoirs are our savings. Almost every year they come close to being tapped out. We're living in a finite system, right? And we routinely use more water than naturally flows into that system. The problem, they say, is we look at water in terms of Deadpool, the lowest pipes that water can pass through the dams. But those pipes aren't built to actually do that all the time. They get damaged. So the actual usable water is less than that. We need to provide for public health and safety, um, but there could be devastating impacts on agriculture, on industry, um, and uh, certainly on um, the, the kind of irrigation that we're used to seeing in cities. The seven states that use the river have until the end of the year to come to a new agreement on how to use the water that will go into effect next December. So far, there's been no agreement. We can't wait for the states to finish an elusive and very difficult negotiating task to do something. We got to do something now. That's at the end of 2026. Do we even have that long? No. Uh, we don't think so. We think we need to be prepared to reduce uses, uh, I would say, by the beginning of 2020, the calendar year 2026. William Pitts, 12 News.